We have the shoulder blades rolling down the back, and our heart is opening. Weight sitting back, you know, and then exhale back to standing. Good. And here, you know, feet can be this far apart or they can be right together. It just depends on how your balance is feeling you know, that day. So just try to get some sit and down. Inhale up. And exhale. Good. And then one other pose we have in the Surya Namaskar B is to from downward dog position. Y'all can watch me first. I spin my left heel to the ground and I step my right foot forward and come up into warrior, what we call warrior one position. And then I come back through my uh, chaturanga like we did a moment ago, upward facing dog, and downward facing dog. And then I do the same thing on the other side. I spin my right heel to the ground, step my left foot forward, and arm <coughs> up, gaze at my thumb. Come back down, through, upward facing, and downward facing. And that's where we have our five breaths. And then at the end, we step, we go here and here, and then we once again bend our knees deeply back to the are chair position. Okay, I'm going to try this. <laughs> All right. So, inhale, sitting deeply, arms come up, then we exhale, fold forward, inhale, look up and lengthen, exhale, step or walk, walking back, lowering down knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. And here you spin your right, your left, excuse me, your left heel down to the ground as you step your right foot forward. And your arms come up to warrior one. And you're going to exhale, hands come back down, stepping back, plank position. Lowering down, inhale, cobra or upward facing dog, rolling over your toes, exhale, downward dog. Now spin your right heel to the ground, huh? and step your left foot forward, arms come up, warrior one on the other side, and exhale, down, stepping back, lowering down knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Coming through the cobra or upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. So this one's a little more cardiovascular, yeah, than the last one. So you, once you get back to downward dog, just breathe deeply. Find the long inhale and the long exhale again. And child's pose is always there if you need a little break. You can come down, spread your knees apart. Put your forehead on the mat and take a little break if you need to. Three more breaths. Two. And one. Okay. Changing your gaze. We're going to step forward. In between your thumbs. Look up and lengthen. Exhale. Forward. Inhale. Bending the legs deeply back into our chair pose again. Arms come up. Gazing at the thumb. Exhale. That's it. Very good. So that's Sergey Navas Um And then I'll just show you maybe one or two. Maybe the same thing you can. A couple of times. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> this is the worst. We're starting to raise the temperature. It's really great. Okay. So inhale, bending the knees deeply. Arms come up overhead. Utkatasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, look up and lengthen. Exhale, stepping back. Plank, and then lowering down, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down facing dog. Spin the left heel down as the right foot comes forward. Arms come up. Veera Vajrasana A. Exhale, hands come down, legs steps back. Lowering down, 
Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Spin the right heel now as you step the left foot forward. Keep bending that front knee. Stepping back plank, lowering down knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Inhale, cobra, or upward facing dog. Exhale, down the face. Once again, connect to your breath. Shake your head yes, shake your head no. Make sure you're not holding. Rolling the shoulder blades down the back. Draw in on the low belly. You can gaze at your shins here, at your thighs, or even your navel. Four. And five. As you inhale, change your gaze. Step between your thumbs. Inhale, lengthening. Exhale, folding. Deep bend in your knees as you raise your arms 